Hey guys, what is up? It is Beast of Prestige again, and welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon World. And in this episode, we're gonna take a look at some scenery. Now, first things first, uh, as you can see right here, we have path posts and path scenery, and these are pretty awesome. And here you got four different type of street lights, which all look quite fancy. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and build a little path, a medium path, right now. I'm gonna build it out straight until there. There we go. And let's go to scenery path posts now as you can see these align perfectly to the path and you can place them on top of the path and outside the path which is pretty cool let's go ahead and put one on the path see how that looks there we go and as you can see that looks pretty nice I really like the detail they put in there all right so what you also got in here are some banners and these banners they don't look anything uh, like anything in the picture but they are landscape instead of portrait so basically what this is is you can place um, these posts, uh, you know, from your country or whatever, you're, wh wherever you're from, basically. Uh, you even have the pride flag, if I'm correct, right here. There we go. All right. Now that's pretty cool. And um, <clears throat> yeah, that's basically that. Now that is all there is in this uh, piece of scenery right here. This menu, the path posts. I think there's going to be more in the end, uh, but this is all we have right now. So this is a nice little preview. Of what it will look like it might be recolorable later uh, this lamppost I really hope it will be uh, but yeah that's that's basically the lamppost now moving on we have the path scenery this contains all the benches the tables with the benches which are very nice look at this umbrella picnic table all that stuff they align perfectly to the path which is very nice and these uh, benches right here as you can see they snap to the path as well but you might think well they're rotated and with the shift plus mouse wheel we can rotate them until they're parallel to the path and we can place them on the side of the path but we can also place them on top of the path which is very nice they line up perfectly there's still a little bit of uh, room left right here until the border so it's quite realistic i really like the look of this you can do this with uh, different style benches but you can also place them on the outside like this and this will be um pretty cool if you have like a sidewalk thing going on maybe if you can edit some uh, ground textures later with that it would be pretty cool to use that. Anyhow, moving on, we have these recycle bins, these trash cans, and they look very nice. They look very theme park-ish. Uh, these are the ones you'll normally find in the theme park, I guess. Uh, together with this, these are more uh, Disney or Efteling-like. And I think they look great. You also have the sci-fi recycle bin, the wooden trash can, and the recycle bin that is kind of... I don't know what it really looks like. It's not that awesome. Uh, awesome. It looks like one of those underground ones, you know, that uh, have the big uh, container underneath the floor level. And then with the truck, you can pick him up and you can empty him. Uh, but that's basically all there is to this scenery. Uh, moving on, we have these fences. And the fences are a little bit tricky as of right now. Now, as you can see, when I rotate it to fit the path, you can see that it actually um, aligns to the path. And uh, let's just try to get it right here instead of having to mess with that entrance building. Here we go. Let's put this here. Now, as you can see, it kind of aligns to the path. Uh, it snaps to it. So let's see if we can... Basically, what you can do is you can place them right after each other like this. They snap into place. And as you can see, they actually align. And they do fit like this. So that's pretty cool. You can, you know, fit more of them side by side. And it looks pretty good. But something else that you have to keep in mind with this is curved roads are kind of glitchy using this uh, this system right here. I think that's still going to be fixed. I can test it out real quick. I'm just going ahead and uh, make a little path that is curved. So we're going to start here, go to there, and then there. And then we're going to go back to fences. We're going to grab this picket fence, the white one. And as you can see, it doesn't really align anymore. Um, so that's just something they'll have to fix in the future. As you can see, they still kind of snap to the path, which is still nice, but they don't align, they don't touch each other, uh, each other and they don't basically create one big fence. They create multiple pieces of fence. So that's that's still kind of weird. But that's basically in this uh, in these fences, and you got these chain link fences, uh, fences, which are very nice. And another thing, you uh, just like with the benches, you can place them on the outside of the path, which I would prefer. But you can also place them on top of the path, um, which I don't really like that much. But, I mean, you know, you, you can, so it's just something. Look at this. Um, but, yeah, they still don't align like this in the curved roads. But if I do this here, 
on the straight piece uh, here, for example, you can see that they they should actually align. Uh, but these, oh, these are actually don't. All right, so that's just uh, a little something. But I think the fences in this game they look very nice. Uh, everything is 3D, and I don't know. I just really like the ambience. It gives the the feeling of really having a fence instead of just having a uh, a texture with some alpha channel in there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's basically everything for the fences. Now in the decor, this is actually the main scenery uh, piece of the game. And here we have some rocks, as you can see. That's the first thing I saw. And these rocks, I'm just gonna place them right next to each other. As you can see, uh, they can't be stacked, which is a little bit odd. Actually, I placed one twice, so let's go ahead and remove that. We don't need that. There we go, decor. Uh, we need this one then. Here we go. That's a little bigger. And then this one's a little smaller. Now the rocks they look very good. I really like the texture it has and the bump maps and it just it looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you can't you can't stack them. You can only rotate them and put them in place. So it might be that you can later use one and two. Uh, so you can also move them vertically. That will be very cool. And maybe with like something like an M Brooks cheat on which you can. Um, place them inside each other so like on top of each other and in each other like this you would be able to create some pretty magnificent rock work now as you can see here are some statues now uh, these statues are in fact pretty cool I'm just gonna place them all here we go just some uh, some park mascots I, I guess um, you got an owl something like a, a crocodile I don't know what this is like an alien or something and uh, what is this? Raccoon? Something like that? Anyhow, you got those statues, which are pretty cool for a park entrance, I suppose. And then right here we have the ride never ends. It's a um, an island, I guess, with a skeleton. Uh, he's been waiting for the release of Rollercoaster Tycoon World, as you can see. <laughs> and uh, what else do we have? A skull face. This is a pretty cool one. It kind of feels like a fountain, and the water in this thing is actually pretty nice, to be honest. Um, some people say it looks like uh, blue liquid poop. Uh, Black Hat, I'm talking to you. <laughs> no, but the water in this game is pretty... Uh, it, it's it's still a little unconventional, so, you know, it's it's still a little weird. And we also have the, um, the mining temple, which looks very nice. But those are basically the scenery pieces. Now, moving on, we have this sci-fi set right here with the ETI 3000 radar dish. Uh, which looks pretty nice. The detail in these things are, is really magnificent. I really like the way they, they've done this, but you know, then I think uh, quality goes over quantity, but you know, to get a full game, they still need to do a lot of work with the scenery pieces, but I'm sure they will do that, or they have already done that, they just didn't put everything in the beta. Alright, now we have also got this Crash UFO and the Spire, which look pretty nice. This really reminds me of the Space Mountain mission. Uh, roller coaster in Disney. All right, moving on. We have a hay bale, um, perfect for Halloween, I suppose. Look at that. Very nice. And we also have some Lewis uh, BTM rock set, which is basically just the red rocks. Uh, as you can see, these rocks they look kind of nice, actually. I'll just place them all. Let's see this one there there and there these rocks they look pretty nice they have this really nice uh, i don't know that they, they just they done the rocks really good i think they just need some more and they need to be able to stack them so then it will be fine moving on we have a western wagon i'm just gonna actually let you know this is just kind of a display for every single piece of scenery there is uh we have these lamp posts which i really like uh they also align to the path everything aligns to the path in this game uh, you can place them like this against the path, which looks very nice. Uh, so yeah, we have that. We have a little water tower, which looks decent. A windmill, also decent. A balancing rock, which is just some simple scenery with a little rock on top. And we got some pumpkins. So yeah, that's, that's all we have for the decor right now. Uh, the foliage, I'm going to go into next episode. But what I am going to cover right now is a specialty. These are uh, fountains. So as you can see, when you place a fountain like this, this fountain actually looks pretty nice. But if you place it, you'll see this circle around it. And this circle is basically a path. And it only generates when you build a path on it. So basically, it snaps to it. 
and you draw out a path. Let's get a small path. <coughs> Here we go. And we're going to place that there. And as you can see now, it creates this beautiful path. It doesn't really align to the fountain that well, but that will have to be fixed. Uh, that is going to be fixed, I suppose. And uh, that's just one of the fountains. The other fountain is more of a modern fountain, I suppose. Um, that's the name. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and place this here. Uh, these particles, they look kind of strange. Um, but they look more watery than in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And you can also connect this with a path to there. And as you can see, that aligns. This one aligns very well. So that's just something that I... Uh, those are kind of... The two things that I like the most, the fountains. I really like the fountains. All right, so that's basically all the scenery uh, for now. Come back next episode and uh, we will talk about the foliage in this game. So yeah, <clears throat> I hope you found this kind of informative. This is only what they have right now. This is not uh, a visualization of what the game will have. This is only what's in the beta. I'm just saying. The game is gonna have many more items, I suppose. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty big. So, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace from Pieces of Prestige.